Hi guys, welcome to my um, Arsenal v Southampton preview of the League Cup game um, tonight, Tuesday, um, 7.45. Um, you might be thinking, I haven't done a preview video yet, I've just been doing reviews of Arsenal games, but you might be thinking why it's like an hour before kickoff, but I tried to upload a video yesterday, um, the Premier League, a Premier League preview show with highlights, but unfortunately it got taken down because of copyright issues, which I was expecting. I mean, it's fair enough. Um, so I thought I had to make a video, so yeah, I'm just going to get into it. So, how, um, just going to go through my lineup for the team that I think should play. Um, in goal has to be Emiliano Martinez, just signed a new contract. Um, I think he is a really good young keeper, a um, lot of potential there. He's not let us down in these previous two rounds. He's kept clean sheet, kept a clean sheet against Reading, um, and has only conceded one against Nottingham Forest. Yeah, um, no, he didn't. He didn't concede against Nottingham Forest. What am I saying? He's kept two clean sheets. So yeah, I think there is potential there. Um, yeah, I'd like to see him play. Just sign a new contract, as I said. Um, uh, yeah, the right back, um, Carl Jenkinson, was a bit surprised when he got left out for Debushi on the weekend, but I don't know, I felt a bit sorry for Debushi obviously when he went, but yeah, Ch Carl Jenkinson will probably definitely start his match, unless there is some kind of injury um, with him. Uh, Centre-backs would be Gabriel and Holding, there's not much there, they need game time. Gabriel was good on the weekend when he came on, um, Holding... Looks like a really accomplished young centre back. Be a good opportunity for him to show what he can do. Uh, left back uh, will be Kieran Gibbs, probably. He seems to play the midweek Champions League Cup games at the moment. And you can tell because Montreal is getting a bit older, he's losing his pace a bit. Gibbs will start to come in more and more before probably taking over his place next season, I presume. Um, but yeah. By doing that, but uh, Wenger's doing that by putting him in these midweek games. It's not a chance for Gibbs to show what he can do. Uh, centre mids, uh, I would start with. Um, probably start with Coquelin. Um, he was he was rested against um, Bournemouth. I don't know why why would he not start in this game. Um, uh, he's had a long rest. Um, yeah, I would start Coquelin alongside. Probably Aaron Ramsey. He needs game time. You can see uh, it's a good opportunity for him to play. Um, he's not been great. He's well. Uh, I'm sure you know my opinions by now. But he has. He hasn't been very good in his past two games. I'd definitely start him. To hopefully he can improve alongside Francis Coquelin and then uh, in the Cam number ten role, just behind the striker. I'd like to see Jeff Ray in Adelaide, a young player. Emerging, I think he's a player who could definitely in the next couple of years break into this first team. I think he's got a lot of a great passer of the ball, uh, good dribbling skills, a lot of creativity. We saw it in the Emirates Cup last year against Wolfsburg. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm excited to see how he'll perform. He should start on the right. Uh, I don't know, I'd like to see Alex Oxley Chamberlain play. He obviously, again, is another one who needs game time. to give him a lot of confidence to start two games in a row. He's a confidence player. I think this is another game. He's brilliant in the last round against Reading. It's another game where he can do something good. Um, and on the left wing, Alex Iwobi. Um, obviously, he hasn't been in his best form the last couple of weeks, but if he play on the left side, um, th this game, it would be a good chance for him to get back into form. He's had a rest against Bournemouth. And yeah, Alex Iwobi on the left. Up front, I'd like to see probably Lucas Perez. Um, he's just come back. I don't know. He may not be a completely fit to start, but he, I don't know. He should. Shuru's definitely out, I've seen, which is a big blow in terms of if he is out for West Ham, which I think he is. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Um, but yeah. Lucas Perez down the middle. He only he needs he's another who needs game time and he needs goals. If you can get a goal or two in this game, really give him confidence to push on and try and compete for a first first team uh, place in Premier League and Champions League games. 
because what I have seen of him, he is decent. I think he needs to stay more in the box. He's wandering out wide too much. He'll get goals from in the box. That's where the gets get goals from. Anyway, players I like to see come on. I like to see Ainsley Maitland Niles again. He's played in this cup uh, in this cup competition. I like to see us really go for it, like stretch the uh, stretch Southampton. They're not a bad side. Got some great players, likes of well, they probably rest quite a lot of players. Charlie Austin will probably be rested. Um, Van Dyke would probably be arrested at the back. Uh, Romeu, Classy in the in midfield. Uh, Redmond, Long, Long might play. I th I think they'll play. It won't be a completely rested team, but they'll probably rest quite a few of their major players to try and you know get, come come out of the. I mean, it's the one where it's one round away from the semi final, so you know what the rewards are if you win this game. You got a great, really exciting double headed, um, double two leg thing, uh, two legged tie semi final thing, whatever. Um, and then Wembley, so it's quite a lot of stake at this game. I think people are underestimating it. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be completely bad. Southampton side not full of completely full of young players but yeah I'd like to see us go for it a bit more um I'd love for us to win this trophy obviously it's not my priority I want us to see us win the league but it'd be, it'd be good to get a double I mean Arsene Wenger's never won this trophy it's possibly his last season probably perfect double would be this and the Premier League or this in the Champions League who doesn't want that but I don't think we'll win the Champions League so yeah that is it for this uh preview if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe